Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to our brand new video. Unlock the potential of PodPress by learning how to import templates in 2023. This tutorial will guide you through the seamless process of incorporating pre-built templates into your PodPress setup for quick and efficient chatbot creation. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys that you have to do is to go ahead and open botpress.com which is basically this URL if you were interested or not finding the correct URL this is the one to go for. Now after you open it the next thing to do is to simply sign in to your account. So let's sign in to my account and there I am. So now if you try to create a chatbot as you can see let me just open it real quick it's gonna be like that not published so we can't really get to uh, do anything to change anything so we have to make it published but first let me just change the name so we can know which bot we are working with so um, templates as you can see here I'm going to change the name to templates save and there we have it so now let's click on edit and basically here they will give you three built in templates. They will give you uh, learn bot press, start from scratch or AI public personality. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and go to an empty bot to start from scratch. Use this template. And as you can see, I am now using this template. So this template is basically empty. It doesn't have anything. So in case I would like to go ahead and get a template, well, first you have to change a bunch of options, like very much bunch of options. From variables, they have to fit that template, the hooks, the library, the like the library is where they're going to get their information from, the variables uh, here, this goes to learn. So as you can see here, uh, resources, uh, you have to link here some docs and all the things that can be helpful for them and after that you will get to import a template to your own uh, chatbots. But in general guys, in the latest version of BotPress, there is something that is very exclusive. So simply, if you want to import any kind of template, you do not have to change anything in your settings. The whole template will include everything and it will change the settings of your own chatbot that you own. So here if I clicked in here and I clicked on import file, you should be able to import any file and overwrite this file. So this can be undone, so importing a bot will overwrite the current bot including media, documents and tables. So for example, we can change shares for botpress templates. Uh, download and here you can find a bunch of options that are being made by uh, for example uh, botpress themselves so this is like a bot hey there uh, I'm Taki or personal te telecos assistant I can help you search our awesome plans provide support with your existing plans etc etc so you can download this template let's download it as you can see I'm downloading it and here it is so it comes like that bpz and now go to your template here select a button or shift file like a file choose this one and now just let it to be uploaded on your own website it is very easily guys to be made it is very straightforward process it doesn't really take that much of time so now just with few clicks I have made this entire bot imported into mine and it will start uh, overwriting it, uh, changing the settings. Well now as you can see here, put in mind that it has 25 megabytes. So depending on your upload rate, uh, make sure that you have a good, decent upload and also make sure that your bot doesn't have that many of things because if your bot is from scratch then the upload will be much faster because the overwrite will be much faster to delete all the files and replace them with new ones but if uh, you had so many megabytes and you had so many things to be overwritten then this is gonna be uh, taking a lot of time and look how big this is this is 
so big that this can be very very complicated for some to understand so if you want to zoom in here it is uh, there is multiple things linked together um i mean yeah it is very very uh <laughs> kind of interesting to know how does it work but in general we have actually got everything uh every library is uh, in here every uh, asset has been added the variables are here from x name to tt email here we have uh, the variables that you can see we have here uh, the settings so uh, here we have the agents also we have the library yes no new plan new phone we have all the things that can help us entities built in entities we have here the flows so we have everything in details here that can actually help us to make our bot work seamlessly so this is a very good thing to have as an important export you can with that now start and click on publish and your bot can be now published and used in multiple applications or platforms you can use it on your own website or you can use it with other things for example whatsapp facebook instagram or anything you can integrate it now with these sites or apps for example now let me show you as an example let me just talk to it and see if it's gonna be the same thing so hello and let's see what it's going to do for us. So our conversation started. And here it is. It sent me the same image, which we can change, by the way, guys. We can literally change everything. So if I went here, let me just zoom in. And this is basically an image. We can change it. We can literally change it to any image we want. Let's click on it. Remove it from here. And upload a new image if you want. So let's try, it, for example, to drag this image. And it's going to show this image instead. So let me just try it out. Hello. Let's refresh. Hi. It can be your company logo, as I said, guys. So hi. Let's just wait a little bit. And the image has been edited and changed to whatever we wanted it to be. So you can customize it and change everything in this template. And this is what it makes it so special. And this is not only for images, even the text, you can change them just by going here. So for example, here the username exists. So this is some uh, like uh, main things to have, some conditions. These are just some kind of helping uh, boxes that will explain to you what does this menu do, what does this does, what kind of help you with and so many things more than that as you can see here returning users so there's many th many things to help you with and yeah guys you should really take your time uh, adjusting and detailing everything here because it is so much complicated especially this one is just it can be small for this one but there is so many stuff that are very very huge they can be so much bigger and yeah guys with that, we have arrived to an end for our video. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.